Reno Capture Dynamic S Navdsu 110 Review. To keep pace with rivals in this increasingly competitive category, Renault's popular compact crossover has had a mild refresh both inside and out. What is it? When the Renault Capture launched in 2013, it only really had one direct threat, the Nissan Juke. Four years later and the compact crossover segment of the car market is flooded with alternatives, meaning the Capture needs to up its game to keep pace with existing rivals and the many more on their way, including the Hyundai Kona and Kia Stonic, to name just two. When you consider the Capture is the biggest selling model for Renault in the UK, and was the best selling car in this segment across Europe in 2016, the French car maker can't afford to rest on its laurels. So, what has Renault changed? Not much. This midlife overhaul for the Capture is as mild as they come. Exterior changes include optional full LED headlights to bring it in line with other Renault models. The Capture front-end design has been refreshed, it now includes a chrome strip on the grille and new skid plates on both front and rear bumpers, to more closely resemble its big brother, the Cadre. The interior has also had some tweaks in a bid to make it more luxurious and there's more optional equipment available, including blind sport warning, hands-free parking and a fixed panoramic sunroof. The engine lineup remains unchanged with 89 bhp and 108 bhp 1.5 liter C4 pot diesels and two petrol units, the 89 bhp 3 cylinder and 118 bhp 4 cylinder. What's it like? We tested the higher powered C. It manages impressive efficiency figures while having enough oomph to handle most situations. Press the accelerator pedal hard and power more than suffices and feels faster than this variant's official 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 11.0 seconds suggests. Diesel refinement isn't bad either, and at the modest around town speeds at which the capture will most often be driven, overall noise and vibration is decent. When you get up to 60 miles per hour on some Cotswolds B roads, however, things become a little less pleasant with plenty of road noise and some serious wind effect on the A-pillars. The Capture, like most compact crossovers, is damped for comfort, favoring absorption of bumps and crevices over any real dynamism. That said, such suspension is often paired with a vaguer than vague steering feel but, to the model's credit, the steering is more precise and direct than expected. The same applies to the handling which fared well on every corner we threw it at. But of course, the capture isn't meant to be thrown around corners, and is far more likely to be ambling along a high street or covering a few miles on the school run. As Renault promised, the interior of our mid-spec Dynamic S-Nav was better than its predecessor, with good quality plastics at eye level and beyond. The Capture gains Android Auto smartphone mirroring, although oddly the equivalent Apple CarPlay system is not included. Our test car also had the new fixed panoramic sunroof, an unremarkable £400 optional feature, but one no doubt popular for those with children to entertain. Retain.